Connor, what's up? What's so important it's about a about a dog? <gasps> oh, Ooh. that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Let's before we get off topic, go ahead and read the some housekeeping key housekeeping notes for us. Good for you for yeah. staying on top of the housekeeping. Yeah, someone has to. Someone's got to. Yeah. Go ahead and do. You that want me to me. do it? Yeah. Okay. You were just planting the seed. Well, you're better at it. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um, I think you're pretty good at it too. That's nice. Brooke. But you're better. No. Anything I can do, you can do with heels. That is, that is true. One heel on my neck. The other one. <laughs> and on the driver's <laughs> pedal. Go ahead and read us the housekeeping notes. Uh, guys, our first video on our new page came out two days ago now. Um, and we hope you're loving it. We hope you send it mm. to everyone you're related to and people that you have lost touch with maybe for whatever reason. To kind of rekindle that. This could be a really good unifier. Yeah. This is actually the video. We actually gave it to Kylie Jenner before we released it. And she sent it to Jordan Woods. And they were able yes. to reconnect because of the highs and lows of the pizza competition. I had almost forgotten about that. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Clear eyes. Mm -hmm. Full heart. Fat ass. Mm -hmm. Can't lose. Yep. So there's going to be judges who are going to come judge both of our pizzas. All right, we're making the pizza. Yes. No more well, we are, no, we let's are. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, now that's it. You know, oh, yeah. One more I time. I want to push on the board. Oh, okay. my That's Jeez, nice. Oh, my Look hey. at that. And you know what I'm not going to do? You're just a is show kind off. of just do this thing that Connor was doing. <laughs> okay, well. Because it's not necessary. This is called over the edge, kid. Really? Yeah, when it won't come off the board, that's when you're going to have a real problem. Right. Shit, you know, I'm good. I told you. Hard to watch. Then, then Hard to watch. Oh. So you hit every spot. Totally. Yeah. Okay, there I don't want to hear a word from you. No, because <laughs> I thought I wasn't supposed to. Anything. A man can do, a woman can do in heels. I think my form was a, a little better. Be... Put more meat on it. Um. Here, oh, it's just... pretty warm, Vito. Yeah, it's an oven. Do you think this would looks like something you would sell? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Because of anything a man can do, a woman can do in heels. It's awesome. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and I hope and I yeah. hope that you guys love it. And as we much had as... a lot of fun making it. <clears throat> and go ahead and subscribe to the new channel while you're there watching the pizza video. It's at BNC MAP. It's it's youtube.com yeah. slash. Yes, MAP. yes, yes. You but... have to put the ad symbol, by the way. Okay, you do have to put the ad symbol. So again, one more time, that is youtube.com slash at symbol BNC MAP. That's and there's going to be a lot more where that came from again um if you want to leave a comment or suggestion for something that we should do don't be shy don't be shy <laughs> hey brooke hi connor are you ready to map i'm ready to pee ignorance is bliss i'm living in a world of my own and it's awesome oh i thought i was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just gonna dive right in today. All right. Yeah. I love it. That is scary to see. Oh. It says, B and C, please look under your chairs. Okay, at the same time. I'm scared. I feel like something's gonna jump out at me. What if it was a snake? <laughs> oh. What is it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh no way. Oh. 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 Oh, this God. is good. Okay. This is really so Brooke just... and I have just for audio people. Absolutely breathtaking. For audio people, Brooke and I just received shirts commemorating oh, I love my it. trip to the to the OC fair. Oh, which... Izzy. Oh, Izzy. Which we talked about in the last episode. Brooke, can you read the shirt? Yeah, I can. Oh, I love it. It says I went to the OC Fair. Awesome. Insert photo of Connor in the. Don't tell me. Do not tell me. Whatever. Print you it do. on the shirt. Okay, as well, well I'm not going to look because I want to figure it out myself. It's not the zipper. The zipper was the other one. It is the zipper. Mm. What is it? Come on, Brooke. Uh, the, it's, it start with a U. I'm, I'm, it start with a vowel. It start with an I. It start with an O. It start with an E. 
What else is there? The A. The A. Uh, Sometimes Y. Yeah, uh, a. Y? <laughs> no, it's A. Oh, it's a. a. The Annihilator? <laughs> I don't know. Should I go? I'm going to look. It should be called The Annihilator. And all I got was sucked off by the abduction zone. I would have, mm-hmm. if you told me AZ, I would have gotten it. <sighs> okay, well, next time I'll, wow. I'll keep that in mind. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, all together, I, that it makes says, it even more special. It, I went it to gives the, it character. I went to the OC fair and all I got was sucked off by the abduction zone. I love it. Oh, I do too. And you were being real funny when you said all that. What do you mean? That was like a good bit you did. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm just giving you a compliment. I'm always a little scared. (laughs) I'm always a little scared. Um, Guys, thanks for listening to our podcast. We're we're just, (laughs) hang on, that's what I usually say at the end. Um, We're heading out. No, here's the the truth. We're not recording. recording We're not recording at our normal time, which is when we get a little kind of out of it, but it's going to be, it's going to be good and we're going to. Make a good episode for you because we got, <laughs> it's not funny. Knock on wood. Just like <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a great episode yeah. for you, I hope. No, it is going to be good because we got so many good questions. Right. And would you rathers and am I the assholes? And I screenshotted like, I think really like 50 of them that I have for you to ask you and to also ask myself. So they'll be good. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So mm-hmm. we're looking inward today on, on today's uh AITA slash question in general. Yes, yeah. And there's a lot of good ones that you've never heard before and you never would have even thought to think that they could even possibly be questions. <laughs> Are they statements? No, they're questions, but it's like that like oh. you never would have even known that they existed <laughs> if if I didn't tell you soon. I didn't tell you yet, but I will. Sounds exciting. <laughs> really just setting us all up. For us today, I'm so excited. To, it's like a picnic. You're setting it up, and I can't wait to to start digging in. I know. I'm really um, looking forward to it, Connor. So the way that we set it up, and we are still, obviously, like we grow every day as people. Brooke and I are no exception. We're just like you. Mm-hmm. And um, we set it up as here, right in the question box. And if your question gets cut off, give us more context in the DMs. Right. Um, start. Brooke took the the question sticker, which is what you put on the uh-huh. your Instagram story, and said you do the DMs. And so I said, okay. Like I looked through the responses to the sticker yeah. and told Connor to just look through our DMs. The DMs in general, yeah. The stickers and the DMs come in separately. Yeah, exactly. And then so, but all of the DMs we got just said more context, but I couldn't see what they answered in the sticker box. Oh, and I also like there wouldn't be a way to connect them no, for and, me either. And you wouldn't have. The more context. So just next time, and you guys did nothing wrong, and you never have, and you never will. But next time, if you have something long, just forget the, the sticker button. Just go go right to the DMs. But I got a lot of like 16-part stickers. Right. I want to encourage everyone to not, to, to, hang on, reread when you have to send 16 separate messages and try to cut that down <laughs> to your best. Because I was like, I can't even. Or just DM it. Without the question sticker. So it could be one long part. Someone sent three voice notes in a row and they were all three minutes long. Okay. That, that I'm sorry. Just type it. I feel horrible. But. Even voice to text yeah. would work. Uh-huh. Do you like getting voice notes from people? <clears throat> Not to derail us very far. Well, but... you know what voice notes I got yesterday that was really fun? Huh. If you know the words of this song, sing along, sing along. Have you seen that? No. You haven't? Uh Uh-uh. Oh, there's this girl on TikTok and Instagram um, that that made up that jingle. And then she sings one part of a song and then the other person tries to guess what song it is. Okay. Do you want to play that game? I do. Now? Do Yeah. Do you want to try it? Sure. Okay. You, You do it. Okay, let me try to think of a song. Okay. I love games. Okay, I love when we play games, and I love when you're down to play games. Uh, Yeah, I love games. Yeah. Um, Oh, I've seen. Okay, yeah. Yeah. This is not three of them. (laughs) No, no, no. But it's fine because everyone's. I think everyone's on. Her name's Maddie. Um, Jepson, I think Maddie Jepson. Yeah. She's been playing this game at the wazoo, kind of. The one on the far right is is the game. Actually, bottom bottom left on this screen right here. This is her OG video. Yes. Yeah, we can play it. No, no, no. It's her voice. When you know. <laughs> when you know. The 
let's do the song. Sing along. Sing along. Wake up in the morning feeling like Got it. Yeah. Got yeah. my glasses on my door. Okay. This okay. I'm feeling I'm not gonna know a lot of the songs I because I don't know a lot of the songs that you know. I'm, I picked one that you would know. I feel like I just don't know any songs besides my very specific catalog. I picked. I have one in mind that I no. think you'll know. Okay, yeah, go. Let's okay. do it. Hey guys, want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode. One of my favorites, truly hurt seltzer. Today's show has been pretty fantastic. Like, just a little bit at least. Some might even say lightly fantastic. You know, kind of like our favorite drink in the game these days. Truly hard seltzer. This summer, I've been trying to make the most of the sunshine and nothing beats hanging with your friends by the pool and cracking open a cold Truly to really set the vibes. Truly <clears throat> is made with a hint of real fruit juice for a whole lot of refreshment and a whole lot of fun. Yep, and at just 100 calories and one gram of sugar, it's super light and endlessly drinkable. Plus, there's a new flavor for every occasion. I will say I've been trying to be mindful about my sugar intake. Yeah. And one gram is really not a lot of sugar so that's good for me who's being mindful about their sugar intake i've been personally loving the limited time offer packs especially the citrus one because it's got some of my favorite flavors like lime and a new citrus in my book grapefruit they're just so refreshing and it tastes like real fruit not like anything artificial and i'm loving truly's refreshing flavors it's you know it's definitely my go-to daytime drink of the summer try truly hard seltzers today and see what the lightly fantastic life is all about Please drink responsibly. Cheers. Oh my god, I don't know the first word. Oh no, I don't know the word the word of the song I'm gonna do. What is it? The song? <laughs> Maybe I know it. But I, I do you understand why I couldn't tell you I can't tell you the answer. I we, I do. Okay, I'll pick a different song. Okay. Same artist. Is it ludicrous? I want to. What the hell is the words to the songs? Hang on. Pick a song. Okay, 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 wait, okay. I'm just going to go in the middle of the chorus. Okay, that's fine. (laughs) I'll tell you that after. Okay. When you know the words to this song, sing along, sing along. I got. It could be literally any song. So just ask for more. more. Oh, more, please. <laughs> I got a feeling. <laughs> Same time period, weirdly. That tonight's gonna it, be. No, so that wasn't okay. the answer. That's what I was saying. Okay. Okay. Are you asking for more? I thought I had it for a second. Okay, ready? I'm going to go again. Yeah. I got it. I got a pocket, got a pocket yep. full of sunshine. I got a love and I know that it's all mine. Yeah, oh. that's the one. Okay, got it. Okay, your turn. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm ready. If you know the words to this song, sing along, sing along. When you started singing that jingle, I almost said, if you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was like, I knew that one. All right. If I. Okay. It's not if I die young, bury me it's in not. satin, but I had it for a second. Just repeat that same. If I. <laughs> oh my god, I had it, I had it. I had it. Ooh, I just crushed my balls. What is the Okay, if I just lay here. No, good guess. Not it. Oh, okay. But I think the next word it's gonna make it. Okay, you don't have to say the whole okay. next word, you can just say like the first Ooh. Ooh. You want it? Oh, that's is no, that it? No, that no. was me going, ooh. Okay. But it's not the song. Ooh. Do I have to I love start it. from the beginning if I uh if you know the name of the song or can I just no, no, no. You can keep okay. going because I'm asking for more, please. <laughs> Go. If I... W- <laughs> oh my God, I'm having like a Raven Simone situation. If I, w- if I if were I- a boy... Yes! Yeah, there it is. Got it. <laughs> Good job, Connor. Thanks. Okay, that's fun. That's really fun. That's a fun warm-up. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Okay. I hope to do it again. Why did we do that? <laughs> Guess because it says up there guessing the song TikTok challenge. Oh, but that's no that that's not why we did that at all. Can someone give me a refresher? I wish I could already. Re- I think it just came. Re- Why are you this- about voice notes? But we're talking voice about voice notes. notes. Okay, so that's what you're playing. So voice notes, when it's a very active conversation, that's fine. If someone's giving me like, 
three minute and a half long voice notes. They're not getting listened. Congratulations, to you. or sorry that happened to you. Mm-hmm. I, I I ain't reading all that. Yeah, I, I they're yeah, it's fine if yeah, uh huh. Mm-hmm. You have a love hate relationship with voice notes. Well, I think it's fine every once in a while. You kind of have to be a little bit succinct. I think it's fine every once in a while. It's kind of fun if you have to do an accent. And also it's all fine like at nighttime when everybody's knows that everybody's cozied up in bed. That's fine. But like you don't know where I am in the day if you're sending a voice note. I can't listen to that in the middle of Whole Foods right now. Hack. Ready for this hack? Yeah. You can click it and copy it and paste it so you can fast forward and scroll through it to a voice note. You're kidding. Nope, where would gonna, you copy and paste it to? Um, I think you can copy and paste Your it note? to the message that you're in and then send it and it would send, send it back. It sends as a file. I don't know. Or copy and paste it to, to a different, I don't know, different place. You just got to move places. You okay. just got to copy and paste it, but you okay. can save it as a file. Okay. And it just is like that. I don't want to. The audio, just in case you, if it's a minute if and a half long, I want. and y- your phone keeps shutting off auto, you know, automatically locks, and you have to start it over, it. or you lose it. I do think that there's a way to like go back if you like touch if you like randomly touch on the voice memo. It'll take uh-huh. you to a random place, but it's so it's not precise at all by any means. I didn't know that you could like i think you can just like drag yourself it. to the middle but it's not like you can't pinpoint an exact time i remember when i found out about scrubbing what's that when you like on youtube if you're watching on your phone if you go if you move your hand higher up when you're scrolling it scrolls like point second by point second like oh it's a finer scrub and if you go low it moves by like 10 I seconds at no, a time i had no idea oh Brooke, did i just wait introduce you to scrubbing what do you mean if you scroll up so like if I'm rewinding yes. something, if I click and drag like halfway wow, through the screen Connor. and scroll, it's it's a very it's a more uh, dexterous, de- dexterous, sure scroll. Wow, that's good to know. That's really good to know. De- that reminds me of these. Stroll. I used to watch these videos. Well, they're like Vlog Brothers videos, John and Hank Green. I don't know if they make them anymore, but they used to do these like life hacks videos mm, and those. it would be like truly the most insane things that changed my life. I cannot name one at all right now, but maybe we could watch some in the bonus Oh, I because love hacks. they were my favorite videos and I haven't watched them in years. That's the thing about me opening Snapchat like first thing in the morning. Another one of those things. It's like I'm either watching 150 compilation mm-hmm life hack videos with music for a circus Mm -hmm. or I'm watching the case of an unsolved brutal murder Mm -hmm. at 7 15 a.m totally get it I have to watch the entire thing of both totally get it totally get it I'm watching those um like sand like cutting sand and then oh yeah sensory stuff I'm watching a lot of sensory stuff I've also been watching a lot of like kids here I can show you you I've actually already showed you just watching kids no like um this nice stuff. to get ahead of it before it comes out oh yeah it's so fun been seeing these all over your story I, i'm loving them for those of you that are not watching it's just fruits dancing around doing a conga line and it's so mesmerizing it's giving me the same thing as like Chewing on like something squishy. Yeah, it just scratches the right itch. Yeah, that's I all I can it. say. There's some Freudian in the comments. Also, that's you're lose not their mind. really watching on TikTok. I don't know if these have made it to reels yet, but the pushing the glass bottles down the stairs oh, I, and yeah. there being colors in it made it to reels okay. yet. That was brutally hurtful. You don't go on. T- you've been on more recently. I've noticed. Yeah, because I'm taking, I'm posting and taking down videos with about a thirty minute <laughs> time in between. Maybe they just haven't hit the TL yet. Yeah. Okay, they hit. Yeah, they're just not resonating with my current audience. Oh, I, and that's why you just have to stop being a creator and start being a consumer. You said it right, sis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It's time to. I need to consume more content. My screen time is way down. I do too. It would be helpful, like as somebody who like makes content technically really for a living like to watch stuff that was just not fruits dancing around in a conga line you like watch you, like actual hey. people doing stuff that i could get inspired by Brooke, but it, the heart wants what the heart wants you're not the algorithm engineer that's not your no. fault that that's what's on your 
That's what's it on your FYP. It is becoming my fault because I interact with them yeah. so much. But what can you do? I don't know. Nothing. Do you want me to start asking you some questions? No, because I need to okay. tell you about. So Brooke and I were together this morning for something really exciting that we're going to launch. I think we it's already launched at this point. No. Sorry. We're in the we're in the past. Right we're in the now. we can say what it is. So people oh, it's merch. Oh, we have merch coming out. We're in the weeds right now. What do you mean? Trying to find. I don't know. What does that say? Saying <laughs> Too much like, going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're in the weeds. Okay. Yeah. No, we are. There's things tickling my ear. Well, I think we're just confused because we're in we're in the past. You're watching this a few weeks ahead of when we're recording it, because I'm going to. Oh, we want just one. Oh. Week. Just one week because I have got to go home to Philadelphia and go to Wawa. Wow. Because I have not been in Because it's, ho- it's Hoagie it, Fest. I miss Hoagie Fest. Damn. Mm-hmm. I might be able to catch it by one day if there, it's still open in July, but I think it's done in August. You've got a jam-packed week there. I know. I'm super excited. That's going to be awesome. Look at yeah. us both spending our grandparents' birthdays with them. I know. No matter the, no so matter, sweet. No matter the trek. Yeah. We're, we're such good nuts. What were you saying before about... Okay, so Brooke and I were together this morning because we are getting um, ready to launch this merch Mm -hmm. that we're really excited about. It was 115 degrees and where we took the photos smelled like human poop (laughs) and pee. And we fought through and we took some awesome launch photos. That, by the way, is why we're like... Kind of acting silly. I think we're like heat exhausted. And Something's so bizarre happening and ta- in my brain. Yeah. But those are usually good episodes. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who the fuck gave these two a platform? I don't that's, know. That's going to be every... That, that's genuinely a comment. If, if we hit the algorithm, like, I'm just... I'm, I'm prepared. Uh-huh. I'm prepared to say, hey, man, I don't know. I literally yeah. don't even remember driving here. Yeah. Ten minutes ago. No, you shouldn't have I don't. To. I don't remember... Yeah, and you think I know how I got this platform? <laughs> Babe, I don't know. Babe, I'd have no idea. And you don't. That's not an answer that you have to have. I pinned, I told you I pinned that comment on our post. Yeah. No, I love when people ask us how we have a platform. I don't know. Wait, let's 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 make merch. It says, who gave these two a platform? I like it. I like it a lot. We should make stools. Like little stools lot. that say that on them. Because it's like a little platform. We should make you think platform the, shoes that mar- say, who, who gave me a platform, question mark. I don't, okay. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know how many people are going to want to buy stools. <laughs> Everybody needs a stool. You don't have a, you need a stool. You, broke, I, you need, I a, need stool. a stool. Yeah. I don't need a stool. I, I, they're too short. I need a cha- I just sit stand on my chairs. You need a stool to get on your chair. No, I don't. I can just get on the chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. You got anything else? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what? So I was with Brooke this morning. <laughs> um, and pff, okay. <laughs> Stool also means poop. Human poop. Yeah. I don't think it means animal poop at all. But anyways, so I was with Brooke. That's scat. But... <laughs> Stool and then there's scat. Which Get one the are picture? you? <laughs> Pick your fighter. <laughs> I'd say I'm more of a scat guy. If we're getting into it, if we're in the weeds. Total stool girl over here. <laughs> oh, I saw someone ask if we really did meet on Tinder. Um, no, that was a lie. But what's not a lie is that we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Tinder. With Tinder, it starts with a swipe. So many possibilities really are just a match away. Uncuffing season is here a.k.a. summer, a.k.a. the best time to be single, have fun, and make some unforgettable memories, and Tinder is here to help you find the perfect partner for those moments. Yeah, you, I mean, you said it best, Brooke. Tinder is the world's most popular dating app. That means the most opportunity to find whatever it is you're looking for. Tinder celebrates the freedom to experiment, meet new people, try new things, and ultimately live on your own terms. With more safety features than any other dating app, Tinder makes meeting new people both fun and safe. Success on Tinder can mean whatever you want it to. Every week, 1.5 million Tinder users go on an IRL date. Plus, Tinder just released relationship goals, a new status for your profile that shows others what types of connections you're looking for. Relationship goals is just one of the many features that Tinder has released to make sure you're comfy on the app. While other apps are hard, Tinder is easy and fun. 
On Tinder, it starts with a swipe. Download Tinder today and explore all the possibilities for yourself. We were together this morning. Yeah, we were. And... Um, and we did that. It took, so where we shot the photos, it was an hour and 34 minutes from me somehow. And, um, so I have spent more time in the car today than out of the car. Mm -hmm. So when I picked up Chipotle, which is not something I have all the time. Like what's your Chipotle order? Okay. So I, it's everything in the, that I can see in front of me. (laughs) Okay. I still say run the gamut. Uh huh. Dump it all in. Good luck getting that lid on. Yeah. Um, and so I did all that, and it's so weird how I've been eating for so years now. <laughs> but you put a Chipotle bowl in front of me; it's as if I've never seen food. Uh-huh. It's been as it's as if I've been in a dog cage in someone's basement uh-huh. for like twenty years. I go in, and I I'm grossed out with myself right now. Can you tell us what was on it and why you're grossed out? I think it was probably six pounds. And I ate it in seven minutes. Like I had, in, like in seven minutes. So I had like I was consuming, like about a pound of meat, cheese. Do you get sour cream and cheese? Yeah. Like I, do you guys get sour cream and cheese? Like I, I could. I look at those people and I'm just like, we do not. We are not the same species. Wait, what do you mean sour I, cream? If I had sour cream and cheese together. I would be in the ICU. Lit- truly. Oh, I'm I'm kick. I'm still kicking over here. Like that is like so unthinkable on the on the system man i can't think of a world where i would eat sour cream without cheese involved you want to know my chipotle order it has to be so so bare bones can i i'll guess yeah i'm thinking it's chicken and uh-huh. rice uh-huh you don't like beans so right. skipping the beans no beans do you put queso on you don't like no you can't do queso um pico de gallo uh-huh and chips probably corn oh corn. guac and chips Ex- extra corn. I need my Chipotle bowl to be like an eight layer dip. Uh, yeah. You know, I, re- I, I have all the respect in the world for you. Couldn't be me. It's gross. Like I, I basically can only eat Chipotle once every amount of time. I forget what, how I act around it. I've been getting the quesadillas a lot. Quesadillas are This dead. is not a Chipotle ad by the oh, way. Oh yeah. Crap. I, I love the quesadillas. Mm hmm. <sighs> That's they awesome. have cheese on them. That's fine. Yeah, they do. It is so. I don't understand like when, like the rules I have for myself about when I like cheese and when I don't. Mm-hmm. No sense. Like I don't want it in the bowl. Want it on a quesadilla. That makes sense. Okay. Um, on Sunday, this this past Sunday, but mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I was with a kid, and that was being baby babysat with someone who I was with. Sorry, and <laughs> the 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 babysitter was uh-huh. making them lunch, uh-huh. which consisted of. A cut up hot dog, Ugh. a quesadilla, some grapes, and some bell peppers. Oh my god, that I sounds said, like your death row meal. Put us down for two. Yeah. Cause that's my ideal lunch. Yeah. Um, and that is. I was I was gonna text you. I finally figured out my death row meal. Is it that? It's either just a quesadilla cooked in a pan with butter uh-huh. on both sides, Ooh. and then cut with a pizza cutter uh-huh. in triangles. So kind of the edges are almost like just vacuum cheese sealed on it? shut. Yeah. Or a 3D printed Starbucks breakfast sandwich. I can't get behind that one. I don't expect you to. You know what I really love, which is like, no, it's not. It's not gross. It's just so good. Mm, just so like good. a classic egg McMuffin, bacon, egg and cheese from McDonald's. You know that tastes exactly like the Starbucks sandwich. It doesn't at all. Mm, it does. The, the English muffin's so different. Oh, the English. Well, that's an English muffin at Starbucks as well. It's so different, though. Well, I haven't had a McDonald's. It's thinner, it. McGriddle. And the bacon is cr- is crunchy. What? This is like an ad for like every fast food. Yeah, every fast we food. We have to stop. Okay. We are on strike until they pay us. I want to. We've already been going for a half hour. I want to get to the questions. <laughs> no. No, I'm dead Damn serious. Let's way. let's head into it. I'm gonna put my foot down. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> okay. did. Okay. What's your story? Oh, you ha- you still haven't told it. No, it was that I ate too fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you believe let's, it took let's... me 15 minutes to say that I <laughs> ate my Chipotle too fast? Let's dive into it. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting one. Oh, there's so many good ones. Okay, I'll start with this one. 
would we ever switch bodies for a week like freaky friday but on purpose like would you opt in if we had the choice I don't see that we I don't see the point. Really? Yeah, would you want to? Yeah, I'd be so curious to know what it's like t- to be We kind of Snapchat all day. I know what uh, you know what I do. No, but I've never been in your body. <laughs> what do you want to do in my body so bad? I want to know what it feels like. Well, I want you to know what it feels like to have different kinds of moods. Brooke the kinds of moods that I experience. I want you Could to you know- imagine if no. I said, Brooke, I want you to experience what it's like to have different kinds of <laughs> moods. No, I don't mean that you don't have moods. I just want you to, to, to know what, I guess I just want you to know what my brain is like. I'd be curious. And I'd want you to know, um, my exhaustion levels. Yeah. I, I would want to see if like, if you, it was your consciousness, could you go without a nap you know? in my body? <laughs> you Does you that make how? sense? Yeah. And my stomach aches as well. I want to see what you would you do with those. Know- like, well, you wanna, and I want to go on a run, yeah, with your legs. Oh, that'd be fun. Um, I always think it's funny. Like, I'm always like, oh, my back hurts. Like, I wonder if I, if I gave you that pain, if you'd be like, ow, <laughs> like right away. Like, it hurts so bad, <laughs> and I'm just used to it. Yeah, I always wonder. Like, like you're just writhing in pain. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm living in hell, and I'm just used to it. No, I always think like, what, like, what if your like just resting feeling is like the way I feel like if I'm about to puke, you know? Yeah. If I think about it too much, I'm always nauseous. Yeah. I can make myself throw oh. up in any situation. Really? Yeah, you know, a lot of actors are like, yeah, I can cry on command, cry. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you want me to throw up? I'll do it right now. Oh, don't do it. Oh, yeah, you can't see that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I'm always like, okay, no, this is where my back hurts. And people are like, I wish I could just be like. Okay, so I, I'll experience it and let you know. Yeah. So do you want to switch bodies? Sure. For how long? A week. <sighs> but it's either that or we can't ever. I think I'm I think I'm anti. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Would you do it if I was like please, 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 please? Yeah. If we have to both get on board. Yeah, sure. I would switch bodies with you if that ever came up. Okay. If you really wanted to do it. Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, you would last three hours in this bod. <laughs> no, I think I'd be like reborn. Walk a mile in my shoes yeah. in the in the bus only lane. I can't on the imagine way here. you walking in in my heels. In your platforms. Yeah. How these two oh, get a it platform? would also be cool to like you could experience what life is like as an individual that's under five feet. And I oh, could experience what life is like as an individual over five. Feet. Yeah. I would crawl into so many yeah. random spaces. Yeah. You could probably get in you any can. of your cabinets. If you, if you try hard enough. Yeah. You could probably get in your fridge. No, there's too many shelves. If I took them out. Yeah. So if like your, if your AC ever breaks, you're fine. You can just get in your fridge. It's broken. Actually, no. Last night I texted my landlord and said my AC is broken and she came and looked at it and she says, it's not broken. It's just hot out. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Brooke, that reminds me of in my old apartment when I was like, I smell gas. Like there's a gas leak. Yeah. And my landlord came over from his house 15 minutes away and turned off my stovetop oven. It's hard because like I also, I never reach out to my landlord because I don't want to bother her ever. And the one time I was like, this is insufferable. It's too hot. Just hot outside. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, mean, I think I'm getting evicted pretty soon. I okay. talked about well, do you want to go into that or can I ask friends. you another question? You can kind of hit me with another question, I think. I think I'm ready. Okay. Whenever are you ready? I have one for you too. I, oh, yeah. Ask you can ask me one. I have some for you. Okay. Do you want me to ask you? Mm-hmm. Okay. If you had to describe how to insert a tampon, man, your question, which you're are... gonna if you are in my body. Could be helpful information. I don't want your body the week you have your period. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we can schedule around it. But you know what? No. Y- you should experience that. That would be perfect. Walk a mile in these Louboutins. How would you just... How would you... How do you insert a tampon? Bloody shoes. That's what Louboutins are. I'm not are. bleeding in my shoes. That's what Louboutins are. They're red bottoms. Okay. This is bloody shoes. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry. It's Okay. What did you say? What was the question? How do you put, put in a, a tampon? Yeah. Well, How does it work? I get how a tampon is a, a, applicated. Tell us then. Stick it in and you push it out and you pull the plastic out. I guess. I don't. Yeah. That sounds right. Say it again. You stick it in. Uh-huh. And then you kind of do one of these. Oh my God, Connor. Where yeah. Y- your finger goes in between and you pull the plastic and the string. That's like, that's. That's good. It's pretty intuitive. It's a pretty intuitive tool. I, do, I feel like most guys actually would not have been able to say that. 
So good for you. Did you see that trend on TikTok when girls were like, how do you work this? And it was a pad and they just like literally like thought you stuck the sticky side to your vagina. Did you think yeah, that? Yeah, I can't believe they thought that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Men. Um, yeah, that's crazy. P- pads uh, get a bad rap. Yeah. Well, now there's those underwear that you can just... Yeah. Kind of just use as a pad, free bleed. It took them long enough. It did. Jesus. It did. Um, hit me with another one. Mine are not fun. They're actually, I want to make a PSA. Many of the submissions I went through pa- pa- passed the level of concern almost to the point of I want to report you to the police. So oh, please could you don't. Them? I didn't even I saw one about those. that was actually. I was like, this is not. This is not the channel to be submitting this to because now I'm involved and I'm going to act like I'm not. And I'm not even going to go into any more detail and I'm going to leave this alone. Let's do it. But I'm not be I'm not better than reporting your am I the asshole that is absolutely a crime. <laughs> so <laughs> you just reevaluate. OK, ready? Criminals. Which, oh, this is more for me, I guess. But I'll ask myself. Broken criminals make a podcast. Would you rather eat clam chowder or go to a Miranda Lambert concert? Oh, that is for you. Because you like clam chowder. Yeah. I'd rather eat clam chowder, ch- clam chowder than give her my money. That makes sense. Yeah. At this time. Yeah. Right now. Uh, I agree. I don't know. I kind of like some of her songs. Support the support the art. Not no, the I do too. What song do you like by Miranda Lambert? I don't even want to give it attention right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, here's a, here's an here's one that's more of a discussion. Okay. Am I the asshole for stopping being friends with someone because they copied everything I did? And this was part one. Could not find part two. And I probably and, um, got part two. Oh. Okay. But we can we can we have enough info. Yeah. I think. Go ahead. We're gonna give actual concrete answers today, whether we're right or wrong. No, you're not. I don't think you're the asshole. You, it's your life. You can choose to be friends with whoever you want to be. If that's not filling your bucket, which I understand why it wouldn't, that could be annoying. Even though people say that imitation is the, what is it? The most sincere Highest form of flattery. Form, yeah. Which like, okay, s- doesn't mean it's not annoying. So I don't think you're an asshole. I think it's just the way you go about it. Does this person hate the other person? what they say? She, they want to stop being friends. I, I don't think that. M- mutually? No, the person who's being copied wants to stop being friends with the copier because she's annoyed by the copy. You know what? This is one of those things, those issues that seem so minuscule until it happens to you. What if this happened to you? I, I would be annoyed and I would I would distance myself. I think the asshole, am I the asshole factor comes into how you go about the distancing. But you know what? We need the part two of the example, which they probably submitted. And we just don't have it. Okay, I'm going to think of an example of someone copying me. Um, I don't know what Think they about would copy. Somebody who, oh, someone is, who's taken my full... Think about somebody who makes your videos after you make them. I laughed both times and followed the people to put the fear of God into them. Uh-huh. But I'm not malicious. So I just kind of... I, I, it bugs me. One guy, you guys, took a video that is one minute long. That is a full-blown bit with, with nooks and crevices and all of the inflections mm-hmm. and facial expressions and s- memorized it and sent it back to the camera and it went so viral so much more viral than mine and i said i remember him respect because that takes actual big juicy balls that's embarrassing as all get out but it sucked because he was like a really good looking dude too he was i could tell he was tall yeah even through the screen and he nailed every bit of it he should act. But you should pat yourself on the back knowing that it came. It, that was your idea. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the writer's room working my ass off for these low ass wages. Now I'm on strike, respectfully. But mm-hmm. at this time, <laughs> I was fighting for my life in the weeds. And this guy took it with his nice teeth and ran with it. And to that I say, where are you now? Not on, the, not on a podcast with me. Not on this platform. No. He has so many followers now. Oh. I checked I checked okay. in on him the other day. So do you. Relatively, yeah. Thanks, Brooke. You're welcome. Um, no, he can go to hell. <laughs> What's the next question? Okay. This is more of a scenario. So, 
I currently have one best friend talking to slash hooking up with the brother of our other best friend. Okay, so this girl's best friend okay, got it. is hooking up with the brother of their other best friend. That makes sense? Keep it in the family. Okay. The sister is super not loving it, but doesn't want to say anything because the brother is happy. And if our friend likes him, she doesn't want to get in the way. I'm on team stop talking to the brother immediately. Like it's been a month, cut it off. Would you guys be okay with your best friend dating your brother or sister? Wait, okay. Hang on, sorry. You want me to go first? Or you just Well, hang on. I just I need to get the dynamics down. So the sisters are dating okay, the brothers. Okay, let me put it into terms of people. The sisters are dating the brothers? No, With, not at all. So, okay, I'm going to put it into terms of I need our, like a family tree. Would, it would be like if uh it would be like let's say there's a group of friends. Okay? And who has a who has a brother? Just make it hypothetical. Okay. I need like Okay, wait. Oh, we okay, can do let's a say, visual. Izzy, Izzy's in our group of friends. Okay. And she starts dating Noah, my brother. Okay. And you are the person writing in being like, oh, Izzy's dating Noah. It's weird because Brooke doesn't like it. Should they stop dating? But there's also someone else that's dating someone. No, there's not. Can you reread the, the, <laughs> the thing? I'm yeah. Confused. So her best friend is dating this dude. This dude has a brother, and their other de- best friend is dating no, that no, no, brother. No, 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 no. This girl's best friend. This girl has two best friends. Okay. Okay. One of the best friends is dating the best friend's brother. Let me read it again to you. No, no, that's not how I. No, look. It listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. So I currently have one best friend talking to slash hooking up with the brother of our other best friend. Oh my God, this whole time I had two men involved. <laughs> no, there's one man. It's a, gr- let's say a group of girlfriends. Got it. This okay. is so simple. Okay. It's so simple. Okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you want me to read it all again? No, I got it. Okay. So basically the question is, would you be okay with one of your close friends dating your sister and my brother? I me? think it's super weird to ask a brother about someone else dating his sister. What? Like d- okaying someone dating my little sister is weird. But, like, I think from a girl's perspective. Uh-huh. Like, she should be fine. What, do you want to fuck your brother? <laughs> I'm confused. Is this her brother? I, no, it's, it's her. her it's, boyfriend's brother. It's her. No, Connor, no. I'm so confused. No. It's her, her friend's brother, and the other friend is dating the brother, and the friend is upset. We have to skip this question. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I do not understand. Okay. Does everyone else get it? I'm going to. Okay, let's say there's Can someone me, else explain no, it to listen, me. There's me, Megan, and Sally Dar. Yeah. Sally Dar is writing in saying, Megan is dating Brooke's brother, and Brooke is upset, and oh. I also think it's weird. Should Megan stop dating Noah? Okay, you, you say Brooke's your sake. answer. You say your answer. I mean, I like you said, I guess it's different because you have a younger sister and I have a younger brother. Yeah. I would I think I would love if one of my friends dated my brother. Because then it's like, I know he's a great guy. I know my friends are great people. They would be in my family. Well, I don't was, see why that, that would be bad. That was my question. Like, what, what's the issue? Right. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I also don't see the issue. I, I think the girl's like really protective of her brother. Yeah, I don't, I, I know people with those dynamics and I don't think I can relate personally. I can at all. Yeah. But I guess it would be different for a younger sister. Kind of, but she's not younger. She's a full blown like adult that yeah, lives in an but apartment. Still, she, she is for. your younger sister. Yeah, that's a weird vibe. I mean, it's not my choice. It's your, it's not your relationship. Yeah, Stop hanging out with your friends. Like, you know, like I just think it's weird when siblings are like involved in each other's relationships. I think it, I would personally pref- prefer it almost. Yeah. So keep it in the family. Yeah, I would. Okay, I, yeah. I'm so sorry for how long that took me to understand. <laughs> I might be. I, I get that it was confusing. I don't think I helped with my explanation. The whole time I kept adding new people to the equation too. It's like her cousin. Okay, this is a really good one. Okay, and I thought of you because you've been in this situation a lot of is times. This, okay, go ahead. I'll just. Am I the asshole for staying friends with somebody who broke my best friend's heart? Ooh. Oh yeah, I've been in that many yeah. times. We got that question twice then because I also screenshotted one that's similar. Okay. Like I hang out with this person a lot even though my best friend and this person broke up amicably. Right. Yeah, I guess I think that plays a factor into it. This person broke the other person's heart. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, you are kind of an asshole. Unless they're on good terms. Yeah. There's, you got to put your loyalty somewhere. Without loyalty. I think it's tough, like, if you were friends with both of them before, but if you just became friends with the boyfriend or girlfriend once they were introduced to the group via dating your friend here's an idea relationship ends when their relationship ends if your best friend broke this dude's heart or who whatever the Uh dynamic is would you still be friends with the dude even though the other person fucked up or whatever oh i would think i don't see something morally wrong with that it would be a discussion with the friend for sure yeah i've been in it's like okay well you dated this person. I've had this conversation several times. You've dated yeah. this person for six months. I had to hang out with them for six months. I didn't, I'm not, there's no ROI there if I just cut off my What's investment. ROI? Return on investment. Oh. Time is the most valuable resource. If I'm hanging out with your bum ass boyfriend for six months or girlfriend, I'm going to develop a relationship with them that I can't just throw away. Uh huh. So yeah, I'm going to stay friends unless they do something evil. Right. In which case, you go like this. Really? Mm-hmm. I just spent all that time hanging out with you. Now we just got to cut ties. Yeah. Hands are tied. Yeah. So are you the asshole? A little, yeah. yeah uh, a little bit. A, a Some might even say bit. lightly refreshing. L- refreshing. You could totally say that. Oh, this one I thought was really interesting. Okay, hit me. And this plays into the experience of us switching bodies a little bit. Okay. Not really. Would you rather never get tired or never have to go to the bathroom? Because both of those for me like interfere with my day to day a lot. Never get tired. I don't mind me going too. to the restroom. Me too. The restroom is a nice escape. I'd rather never get tired. I could do so much. Yeah, same. Also, sometimes I'll just go sit on the toilet with my phone. Awesome. Mm-hmm. It's awesome alone time. Just as a chair. It's kind of like it brings out something almost instinctual in me. Like a cave. Primal? Yeah, primal. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Like a dark, cold cave and with my bare ass out on my phone. Very cool, Connor. My legs fell asleep yesterday. I was so tired and I sat, I just sat on my toilet before I got in the Your legs don't fall asleep from you being tired. No, I was sitting on the toilet for so long. I've never had my legs fall asleep unless I've been sitting on my leg. Well, I have a stool in my bathroom. (laughs) Were you sitting on your leg? No, I was sitting like this. I know I my legs have never fallen asleep unless like I have been sitting like crisscross or in a position where I've been sitting on top of my legs. Does that make sense? Yeah, you got didn't good re- blood flow. I didn't realize your legs could fall asleep just without that. Everybody is this have to do with your high blood pressure? Maybe. I don't know. I I always sleep like the most comfortable way I can fall asleep is on my stomach with my arms up over my head under my pillow you know i don't use a pillow but i have 15 on my bed Mm -hmm. and i just bury my head in them Mm -hmm. i'm gonna suffocate i have the world's thinnest pillow or that's what it's called on amazon and it is really a tissue i need to figure out what my pillow vibe is because i don't know i don't know who i am as a pillow Uh person you know everyone's always like i'm a soft pillow i'm a hard pillow i'm like where's my pillow I need a pillow that I buy new, but it's as if somebody has slept on it for over a hundred years. I want I want my pillow to feel beaten. Yeah, but for from years of abuse. Um. So, anyways, I fell asleep with my arms above my head, but every night I do lose blood flow to my arms, and I usually wake up when I'm like, "Oh, can't move my arms." So imagine me laying flat, right? I'm on my stomach, I have my arms up over my head, and I. It's almost like. I don't know. I don't need to do it. You can picture it. And I lay there and then I, so I, I basically am like, okay, I realize at some point I need to move onto my back and get my arms so my, my blood gets back into them. And so I went to turn over onto my, onto my back and I feel my one arm hit and I'm like, okay, one check. We're almost there. And then I go to throw my back. This arm has not moved, so uh, I land on my right arm, which is how I woke up, because I hyperextended my shoulder. That's horrible. I'm sorry, Connor. <sighs> There's one sound, the worst sound in the world. It's radar ringtone from iPhone. Yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> the, the second worst sound to wake up to is your shoulder popping out of socket. 
Has that ever actually happened to you? That night. This location? Mm -hmm. And once it happened to me once, it happens like all the time now randomly. Oh, I didn't realize that could just like casually happen. I used to dislocate my elbow as a kid and have to go to the hospital every time. What? You can dislocate your elbow? Uh Uh-huh. It's called like kids get it a lot. I think it's called like nursemaid's elbow or something. And then it was so, I just, it was so painful. And I, once you get it once, you keep getting it. Yeah. And I had to go to the hospital every time. Wow. Yeah. Occurs when the radius, one of the bones my in the radius. forearm, slips out of place. My radius was slipping. Did it hurt? So bad, yeah. Oof, I don't like that. The, the craziest thing I ever saw was my sister fall off a fence when I was in like fifth grade. And she was in second, I guess. And she gets up and is like, and she's looking at me and I look at her arm and her elbow <gasps> is out the oh, other way. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm like, oh. Oh, I couldn't get any. I was like, oh my, oh my. And she looks down and goes, ah! Were you at school? Out. No, we were just like hanging out in the backyard. Oh my God. And she grabs it and <gasps> pushes it back into place. And then my dad comes and picks us both up and she's bawling her eyes out. She's like, my arm like popped out this way. And my dad's like, okay. And she goes, I watch her. I remember I was sitting in the back seat and she goes, look, extends it, pops out. Ew. Backwards. Did she go to the doctor? Mm-hmm. That's good. Three metal pins in her arm. Wow. And she, did it hurt? It doesn't seem like she was really phased by the pain. Yeah, she was screaming. Oh. Okay, ready for another question? This yeah. is interesting. Would you rather have an arranged marriage or be single forever? Single forever. It's tough. It's tough. Because <laughs> basically it's like, Arranged marriage, let's say. I don't know. What's the percentage of success for arranged marriages? I don't think we have a census for that. Like, is it 50 50? Because I would be willing to take the 50 50 risk. Could I get divorced right away? You asked Or the would question. I have to? Oh, she, no, I don't. Oh. If I could get divorced, I would pick the. What does that say, Connor? Well, the divorce rate in the United States is about 40 to 50%, which is wild. But yeah, 50% of marriages end in divorce. I, what, I just was curious about the arrangement. And the divorce rate for arranged marriages is 4%. Well, yeah, because yeah, probably it's more if you're in a religious, situ- usually. If you're in a situation where you're having an arranged marriage, you probably have more well, yeah. reasons why you couldn't get divorced. Yeah. I, They're yeah. probably more strict that's, on that. That's skewed. Some estimate that 90% of marriages are arranged in India. This is weirdly giving me a panic attack. Okay. I would do I would do the arranged marriage if I could get divorced. After hearing those numbers? What do you mean? I don't know. Yeah, I, I would just, if oh, I could get divorced, I would do it. I would love to see that be a fly on the wall when that census was taken. And yeah, we're really divorced, happy. And if I couldn't get divorced Oh my god, I don't know because then I if I like really didn't like them and I had to spend the rest of my life with them. Yeah. I don't know, but it, then it's like, maybe Brooke, maybe, I, maybe that doesn't happen. Imagine spending 10 minutes with them, and they're annoying. And then imagine spending the rest of your little life with them. But then, it, I don't know, that's so tough. I guess I wouldn't, but it would be like, I'd have to think on it for a very long time. Okay. Okay, we can't answer that. Well, I mean, I answered it, single forever. We have to give concrete answer, answers. Oh, this reminded me of me and you, okay. this one. My girlfriend told me to get off my phone, so I threw it on the ground and broke it. <laughs> that reminded me of yeah. you, of me, and you? Yeah. Because do you remember at the Dodgers game when you told me to get off my phone, I started sobbing? <laughs> that no, video everyone's... we made at the Dodgers game, I was crying in it. It was because I was actually sobbing because Connor told me to get off my phone. <laughs> well, like, and I was so upset. I, like, did not, I like, didn't want to go to this baseball game because it's in Anaheim. <laughs> So it's like yeah, two and it was a, like a big fight. It was like two and a half <laughs> hours away, and it was during. I knew it was during rush hour. We have to get there, so it took us three hours to get there. And then you park, and it took an hour to park. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing this baseball mm-hmm. game because Brooke wanted to see a baseball game. We're here, Brooke, on TikTok. The full, fully, the game <laughs> is happening. I was like, ah. Oh, Brooke, did you did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, very cool. That actually inspired the whole video that mm-hmm. we made that like went pretty viral. Well, it's like, you know, when like kids 
fall and get really embarrassed and cry. Yeah. That's kind of what I was going through because I didn't know you didn't want to go and I got like, like super like shameful. Then oh, I crying. said I, I don't want to go. Yeah. No, you I, did not in say the text. that. No, you said let's go. No, because I went back and, and checked the sources and you never said that. Okay, Karen, let's check the sources. I checked the sources already. No, don't check them now. And but Connor let's, let's literally check. texted me yesterday and said, I want to go to a Dodgers game. I do. I had a great time. I was the only t- <laughs> I had an awesome time. I was just like, I, I don't want to be like watching this game alone. She's she's on her FYP. I, had, I was like, I was, doing, I was like, what was about working. if you what about if you like watch the game that we drove three hours to go to? What then? No, you said I didn't even want to go, and that's when I started sobbing. <laughs> that's the fact, so well, you know, you, if you go back and watch that video now, you can watch it through that lens. Well, we started laughing about the fact that she was crying right after that. So, wait, okay, wait. So, oh, can you read anyway, the question that's again? Just, can it's you... not even a question. It just reminded me of I, something I would do. Or uh, My girlfriend told me to get off my phone, so we threw it on the ground and broke it. It's just like a really big reaction to just like... Oh, reactionary. Get off phone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is funny, Brooke. Yeah. That will go down in hit in her story. It is like a lot of, yeah, it will go down in her story, Connor. Would you date the opposite sex version of yourself? Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Me? Not never in one million years. What would that even be? Oh, I think be? I might get jealous of myself. What I'd do you mean? Like, oh, this person's being, this person's. I don't know, like talking so much. I want to talk more than them. Like outdo, try to outdo yeah. yourself. I'd be in competition with myself. I just like don't even want to know what a male version of me would behave like. Or just not it, not even. No, I don't. I wouldn't ever. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Actually change my mind. Yeah. So no. I Easy. Okay, easy. no, we both wouldn't. <clears throat> okay, this was a good one. This w- is terrible for you but good for me okay would you rather be stuck in a room of tier ones or people from the loser list because i don't ever want to meet those people oh i'm tier one i know day. i know i think loser list because i'm not like shy around those people they're losers so i don't ever want to hanging out with them i guess but that would be a less painful experience because i would be so Who's in on my your head loser list? I one. can't even remember. Or, I, do we share a loser list? I think we have list? a shared one. Okay. Cuz I think we usually agree on all the losers. Yeah. I need to I need to look at I just want to review who's on the loser list right now. Oh yeah, let's do a revisit. Loser list. I know we've got Jonah, we've got Miranda. Jonah and Mar- Jonah Hill, Miranda Lambert. I mean the rest are such old news except Halsey is just on there and I can't remember why. <laughs> but sorry. Halsey. I get, no, that's fine. Drake. Why? I don't. I really don't know. I shouldn't say that because he's been on podcasts recently. I was just like, I don't need to. I don't. I wouldn't even like want to have Drake. Yeah. I guess for business, for business purpose, I could clout. Not for you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have him on the podcast for pleasure. Yeah. Exactly. Strictly business. I wouldn't even know what to say to Drake. Couldn't name one Drake song. He has. No, I don't. I don't. I really don't think I could. Brooke. I, really, I need a one dance. That's right. Mm-hmm. Got a Hennessy in my hand. If it's not a show tune or a very sad man singing about how obsessed he is with a woman, then I'm just like, I need the story. I need the story. I get it. I get it, man. Okay. I know that you know about 90% of these songs, though. So. Yeah, but I don't know them by name. And that's what matters. Would you rather have a million dollars or a list of every person who's ever had a crush on you? I would rather have a list of everyone's had a crush on me. I would pay a million dollars to have that list. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet there's some interesting. Yeah. And then you could. Oh my like, god! I just closure. I, I actually have tears. Fluttering. I have tears. My eyes thinking about me forking over the a million dollars that I don't <laughs> have, and then getting a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh. I'm having flashbacks to something that we did in high school. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? I have this. I told you about when the guys ranked the list of the hottest girls in the bus on the way to Six Flags, right? No. 
we had like 90 kids in our class and I think there were like 45 girls. And for whatever reason, the guys made a list of the top hottest 40 girls. Didn't, didn't make the cut. They have so much time. Mm-hmm. There were there were five of us who just did not even make the list. And how that you, and that how do you list my origin 40 story? People? That's crazy. Because we were all on the bus. So they were just doing a head count? Basically, ranking. That's in cell behavior. That's where it all begins. Is but the ranking, thing is, ranking people on the bus. This goes to show you that like confidence truly comes from within. It does not matter what is on the outside for the most part. Because at that moment in my life when I was just like a super awkward, like big mouth vibes teen, I literally would look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, so cute. Even like when I got home from the day at Six Flags and I wasn't on the list, I was like, they're stupid. I'm so hot. But now, it's like I would I'd never think that. Oh, that's sad. You know, so it's really sad. Yeah, that is sad. Yeah. Anyway, confidence comes from within. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> Just so you I have, know. I have, I have this one memory of I was when I played football for the two years that I played football. I remember being in the locker room and fans were not cool yet. Mm -hmm. And especially in Texas. And I got this pair of vans that are so popular now, obviously. And it was the vans era. So it was like the ones you tie, but they're like, Low top. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No, but it's fine. Okay, it's like a, you tie them. Yeah, I don't know. vans with laces. I had them. Yeah. I had some. They're like low top converse, but they're vans. Yeah, version. okay. Okay. And I wore those in, and this dude called them nurse nurse's shoes. And I never wore vans again until wow. like at graduating high school. It's that kind of stuff that's different. Yeah, and I remember it now. Yeah. I have a 401k, and I remember what this man said about yeah. my, my you nurse's do? shoes. Yeah, you betcha. That's... Do awesome. I, do I know how to access it or what it means or where it is? No, hell no. Mm -mm. I will not Good be looking. for you though. That's I a won't big, be looking into that's that. That's a big step. Like why isn't there a 401k.com that I can just skip, like sign into? Where is for it? Okay, 401k.com. You know what's you know going to happen? I'm going to say, I'm going to finally ask my accountant, hey, where's my 401k? It's in the cloud. Where's, where is the It's not of our There's probably 40 cents in my 401k. It's none. none you know what sucks so bad? It. What? When someone's like, hey, hey, can you see me that, those photos from this weekend? iCloud link comes through. Uh, oh, I'll never see that. No. Hey, That's I, a I, good, ju yeah. I just got that iCloud link. Is it supposed to never actually download? Yep. Okay, perfect. I'm with you. I'm standing with the you. The photos are above us in this room in a million tiny pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you one more question and then we can scoot to the bonus. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, do you want a gross one or an existential one? Ooh, don't even ask me the existential one today. Gross. So you want gross? I didn't sleep enough last night. I will. Br I will break out in hives. Yeah, I want gross. Okay. I'm interested in what you call gross. Okay. Though. Well, I have two genres of gross. And would you rather farts or cum? In what context? That's I. Can't, I don't want to reveal it. In what context? What do you mean in what context? Farts or cum? Yeah. One Look, question's I, about cum, one question's about farts. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought it was a, would you rather, farts or cum? No. Oh, no, no. I'm asking you which question you want. <laughs> would you rather farts man, or cum? Man, you lost me. <laughs> now you understand, like, how, <laughs> I, yeah, I did, how am I experiencing Connor, that these that is completely fair, because I did say, would you rather farts or cum? I can't okay. wait to rewatch that. Would you rather me ask you a question about farts or cum? <clears throat> you know what let's give the people what they want hit me with cum okay would you rather cum blood or bleed cum <laughs> oh both are both are hard when you think about it, oh. it like in depth my chipotle is coming back up <sighs> we can't end on this one no um i'm going I'm going. I'm, I'm bleeding. Bleed to come, come. Bleed to come. That's the only answer. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, you can't do that in public. Sir, I'm just bleeding. To death. <laughs> Sir, it's blood. I, I uh, bleed come. I feel like that's less menacing than blood, even. Uh, I would go as far as to say maybe preferred. Oh, paper cut. You're fired. <laughs> this is a clear HR mm -hmm. violation. 
Yeah. You got cum all over my desk. There's cum all over the copy machine. Mm -hmm. Can't even use a stapler mm -hmm. full of, it's buried in cum. Mm -hmm. Even, are you done? Yeah. Okay. Last one. Okay. Okay. Am I the asshole for playing at least two hours of Sudoku during work hours every day? No. What? You're a good employee. You're, you're good fueling in, your mind. You're a good employee. You're fueling your mind with a puzzle of, it's a puzzle and it teaches you it's strategy. Enriching. It's enrichment. It teaches you math a little bit. It shouldn't, teaches you. You shouldn't be. You're enriched. It's enrichment hour. It's enrichment hour. And it's more valuable than yeah. anything you're, you could do for your company. Yeah. You're investing and in yourself. Don't you even think. Which is investing in your company. Yeah. You don't even think about doing Sudoku out, out of, outside of working hours. I, I I would agree too. Good for you. Good, you're a good employee. I'm. I feel bad that you have this 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 work dysmorphia. Guilt complex. You yeah. are working. Yeah, you're working hard. And you're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Keep playing. Um, that's that's Catholic guilt for you. Taking away our our enjoyment of Sudoku, simple yeah. pleasures. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I hate that, but um, good luck. Well, I'd like to watch some shark videos in the bonus yeah. so meet us there and maybe we could do a little bit more singing to each other mm -hmm. okay well we love you um thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash at bncmap to watch that pizza video and there's more where that came from yeah that's awesome thank you guys for listening today was a bit of a journey but we're, we've reached the finish line and it's exciting to be here mm -hmm. alongside you and you, Brooke. And you, Love Brooke. that dress. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I love your pants. Thanks. So we'll see you in the bonus. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you, kittens. Love you, kittens. Cut the cameras. This week on Close Friends. This is the star of the show. Yeah, exactly. If there's anyone even <gasps> like... O-M-G. What happened in between World War II and 9-11? 50 years. Without the comma, dearest would be a simple adjective of endearment. I'm going to help my friend yeah. Jack off a horse. Or I'm going to help my friend Jack, comma, off a horse. That's good. Be short. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.